Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at two guys in the middle of the Baltimore defense. At one point, the Baltimore defense was called Baltimore Bullies, and I think that was the name of the, well, Bullies of Baltimore, and I think that was the name of the 30 for 30 that was recently done um, for the 2001 championship team. But um, these two guys kind of play a little bully ball Sunday. Now, I'm not saying that they're going to be on the caliber of linebacker play that we're used to having in Baltimore, uh, but these two guys put together an excellent game. And as you can see from the thumbnail, Roquan with his 16 tackles, PQ with his 11 tackles, both with a pass deflection, both with a sack, uh, both with some tackle, some TFLs. I, t I pulled out about six plays, and we're just going to take a look at what PQ and what Roquan did to, to me to give the impression that Bully Ball is back in Baltimore. All right, let's start with this play here. You get a simulated pressure, and Mike did a good job of simulating pressures. PQ walks up in the line like he's going to be the guy that blitz, but Roquan ends up coming from depth. And I think the O-line thinks that PQ's coming, so they kind of slide to his side, which opens up a lane for Roquan to go right through. And initially, if you if you stop it right here, as an O-lineman, I'm thinking that the pressure's probably coming from the three surface side. And that's um, Michael Pierce, Queen, and Oway. But in actuality, the, the pressure is coming from the opposite side. So this is what you're going to get. You're going to get those three gaps on the left side taken care of, and PQ is going to drop out to, to roll in the middle, to cover the middle. And that kind of confuses the O line. Look at him slide that way, and he just leaves leaves it wide open for Roquan, wide open. He does a good job of knocking it down. And so C.J. Stroud completes the pass to himself. If you didn't know that, <laughs> C.J. Stroud, C.J. Stroud to C.J. Stroud for negative yards. <laughs> Next up, get P.Q. coming on the um, blitz, and again. With the way that they slant it, they slant it to PQ's left. So he has C gap contained. And when you got C gap contained, you just got to make sure the quarterback don't don't have the ball. That's your responsibility. The quarterback out the backside. You see Oway gonna try to slant inside and forget that motion that's going through and everything. That don't belong to him. He didn't bite on it. Went straight at the QB. Got the sack. It's good discipline football. Good discipline football. This motion guy coming across, PQ don't bite on it. Because he knows that's Marcus's guy. And that's a part of communication. You see Marcus starting to go with him. Marcus knows that's his guy. PQ knows that's his guy. Always taking that B gap, even though the the, the um tackle kind of beat him to it. But and PQ knows he has outside contain. And when you got outside contain, QB come out with him, he yours. He finished the play. Finished the playoff. Huge sack. Huge sack. Now we got to watch Roquan's closing speed. This ball's thrown in the flat. It's thrown in the flats. Roquan's about 12 yards from this guy. He doesn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. It ends up being a tackle for loss. But not only, not only do Roquan watch all the purple jerseys, how they come running. That's one thing I liked about watching this decent defensive film. These guys was flying to the ball. So who is this? This is this is Ojabo finna come from from this backside back here. You got Roquan and Ardarius closing in. You got Ronald Darby closing in. Oway closing in. These guys running to the football. And that's what you got. That's the effort you got to have on the defense. Even if you mess up, you know whatever the original assignment is, run to the ball. Run to the ball. Good stuff happen. Get in the frame. What coaches say. Get in the closing frame. You see it from his back view. Watch his drops. All right. Look at PQ right here. He's his guy's covered. It's zone, but in certain zones, you cover your guy man while he in your zone. PQ's all over that guy, all over the back. Now, so Stroud know he can't go there. He drops it off to his other outlet. Then Roquan closes. Well, not just Roquan. Look at all these other hats. All these other hats. The names I just called out earlier. Ojabo coming. Roquan coming. Ardair's coming. Darby got the outside. Marcus coming. Brandon Stevens coming. Kyle closing. PQ getting the screen. Oway getting the screen. That's what I'm talking about. 
That's almost everybody in the play in the screen, except for Matter BK. The only two that don't get in the screen is Matter BK and Pierce. So that's nine out of your 11 guys in the screen. That's running to the freaking football. Now it's, it's, it's something in short. I don't know if it's third and short or fourth and short. I think it's fourth and short. Fourth and one. And they're trying to go for it. And Roquan does a good job of mirroring the back. And you'll see it from the from the end zone view. He does a good job of mirroring the back. And when the hole opens up, he hits it just like the back hits it. Watch. They'll run this stretch right. Him mirroring the back. Right in stride with the back. Right in stride with the back. Holes open up. Stick your foot in the ground. Just like the back do. Just like the back do. The hole open. Stick your foot in the ground. Now, a good back would have took just one plan and go, but Roquan's a linebacker, but still the same same difference. And then finish the tackle. Finish the tackle. It's a good job. I, was, I think that was fourth and one. Now, this is a heck of a play by PQ. A heck of a play. They're giving the, the look of blitz. But he has the wall to tight end. So that imaginary line that, well, the line that I drew, it's imaginary in real life. He can't allow the tight end across his face. So he has to wall that guy off. And that's why they call it walling off because you're basically trying to form a wall inside because you don't want that guy to cross your face. Because if you do, you're probably giving it up. All right? And you, when you do that, you have to do it to a certain depth. You got to carry him vertical is what they call it. So he's carrying him vertical to a certain depth. Now you see Robert Woods crossing his face. He's just going to take Robert Woods. He, it turns into man inside his own. And watch him chase Robert Woods. Knock it out. It's a hell of a play by PQ. Hell of a play. They're going to look like they're bringing all that pressure. But look at his eyes. Straight to the tight end because he know we got to wall him off. Like he can't let him get inside of him. He just can't. Then they get to a certain depth and you're going to see him go out the screen. Now you see him trailing coming back in. Knock it out. Good job. Good job of knocking it out. Hell of a play by six. Hell of a play. One more play. And then Mike did a good job of, of sending blitzes and, and, and doing different things and giving different looks. But this is a six-man pressure. They a six-man pressure and they release the back. So it's six on six. They're going to pick up the six to the left. But they leave Roquan by himself. Got them two guys slanting to the inside. Roquan coming outside on the edge. The other, other people going to be picked up. Roquan free. And you let him free, he ain't going to miss too many tackles. You let him come free, he ain't going to miss too many tackles. And I really enjoyed watching those two guys work uh, Sunday. They, they played a great game, in my opinion. And um, are they linebackers from the past? No, not by far. But they the best version of Roquan. And the best version of Pat Queen we have right now. And if they keep playing like that, like they're, you know, they could be in that conversation with that best duo. I know they already teetering right behind the two guys in San Francisco, but if they keep playing like that, they might be even or even surpass them. So again, this is my two cents on the play from Roquan and Pat Queen uh, this Sunday. Uh, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I appreciate you guys for coming out. Like the video if you like the content you just saw. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And when you do hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you can know when the rest of these videos are produced. Hopefully YouTube's doing their job. Remember the motto, film then more film, because the film don't lie, unlike some people. Peace, y'all. See you soon.